And that is a snippet of the famous party scene from the beloved Christmas classic, The Nutcracker, presented by the Raphael Gregorian Ballet Theater. The company is gearing up for their annual holiday performance. And joining me right now is the founder and the artistic director himself, Raphael Gregorian. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you very much to you about this. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you're going to be pre presenting the Nutcracker this weekend. For those who may not have seen the performance, seen the ballet or any mm -hmm. iteration of it, tell us a little bit about what the story is about. It's a traditional Christmas story, magical story about young girl with um, beautiful gift she got to the Christmas for her. And uh, dream, beautiful, beautiful Christmas dream, which is... Uh, put your imagination to a fairy tale, like any Christmas stories. So definitely it's very joyful and same time this dream has some lesson. Be good. Not necessarily someone need to look beautiful to be beautiful. Everyone beautiful and this is was lesson for this young girl. And if you love someone you have to stand by for someone you're loving. Yes, because will come time when someone else will be standing by for you. Definitely. Yes, I believe it's very good, uh, magical, and um, teaching story. It's definitely a wonderful lesson mm -hmm, for sure, mm -hmm. and a definitely mm -hmm. magical ballet. Mm -hmm, I mean, Tchaikovsky's mm -hmm. music Beautiful is so music. stunning. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So most of these performers are <laughs> your students, correct? In correct? general, even principals part. Uh, in 30 years almost we do show, most of the time was dance my students. But time is go, student graduated, student go, and sometimes I need to um, bring guest artists, which is good for young people to see professional dancers. I believe it's very good opportunity for them. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and that must be very exciting very, for them. Very, very. So, so tell me a little bit how, what it's been like. You said 30 years you've been doing this, correct? About, yes. Yeah, so yes. tell me within these 30 years what it's been like to present this show year after year and to teach your students about this iconic show. Mm -hmm. But you know what, because students change, and in 30 years, maybe audience who come and see our show every year, we have people like that. and. Uh, Maybe they did not recognize, but I always change choreography. I would like that mm -hmm. students look, to present students in the best way it's possible. Yes, and uh, same this year too, it will be some very unexpected surprises. I not will tell them. <laughs> People will be see themselves when they will become. But uh, it's again, it will be I believe very exciting for people who will come and see. Yes, got to keep the show mm -hmm. fresh every fresh. year. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And mm -hmm. finally, my last question mm -hmm. for you is if anyone is interested in seeing your production of The Nutcracker this weekend, when and where is it taking place and how can they get tickets? Okay, we, I am glad that we do after, you know, through the pandemic, we not did show in Clement Center. This is our first show in Clement Center. We are very, very happy. Yes, and it will be this Saturday, 2, 2 p.m at the Clement Center, tickets at the box office, right? And the uh, Sunday we have in Behemptem Forum, same two o'clock, right? Also, uh -huh. we welcome people to our show. We, I promise from myself, from board of directors, from my students, the people who will come to see will be appreciate and never will be disappointed. Well, it's a beautiful yes. ballet, and thank you so much, Mr. Thank Gregorian, you, and I would like to today. wish to everyone happy Merry Christmas, best wishes. Thank you, Merry Christmas, holiday. and happy holidays to you as well. We're going to have all that information for you guys on our website at wenycom But until then, Kurt, can I send it back over to you?